Crypto investors were expecting a rally this week in crypto due to all the buzz around consensus, but that didn't quite happen. In fact, take a look at this chart, Bitcoin underperforming down 5% since Monday. So let's bring in Danny Masters, chairman of CoinShares, which launched the world's first publicly traded Bitcoin and Ethereum fund. So were you surprised that the rally didn't materialize? Uh, to be honest, I've been so busy, I didn't have <laughs> a chat about the Bitcoin rally going on before <laughs> consensus. Uh, I'd say that it's, it's three years now, almost to the day that we uh, launched Bitcoin Tracker 1. Um, cryptocurrency was very small back then. Um, anyone visiting consensus this week will realize that 8,000 enthusiasts, folks coming to participate in and to build you know, a new financial uh, model, a new financial paradigm. It was a very, very exciting week. What struck me, and I wasn't at consensus, so maybe this didn't strike you or maybe this is not the right takeaway, is that there seemed to be a lot of announcements this week focusing on custodial services, um, including one, an announcement from Nomura, which also involved your parent company, CoinShares. And so I'm just wondering, it feels like there's a sort of a maturation of the industry because with those solutions, institutions can now get in more easily. Well, I think at the base layer, uh, whenever you're looking at an asset class, you know, we need to know who's looking after those assets, where are they actually residing? And that has been something that's been woefully lacking in the crypto space generally. So yes, you're correct, there was an announcement today. Unfortunately, I can't talk about that in, in this particular part of the world, came out of Japan. Um, but we've seen Zappo continue to mature as an institutional platform. Uh, they're our, our favorite provider and have done a fabulous job with us. We've seen Coinbase come with institutional product. We've seen BitGo and uh, Kingdom Trust uh, formulate something. And this is really the bedrock of what institutions need and new products need, new listings need in order to, to go forward. So, Danny, I, I'm going to ask you the question I get asked all the time. Bitcoin down from 20,000 to about uh, 8,200 or something. People say, is it done? But then we're seeing all this infrastructure being built. So what inning? First inning? Seventh inning? Where are we? I, I still think it's very early. Um, I, again, I spent... Uh, maybe 15 or 20 years watching the energy and commodity markets begin from you know, an industrial logistics business into a high frequency trading business, all the derivatives, indices, pricing, models, and so on that go on around that. Uh, we're nowhere near that part yet. We're not even at the part where I would say institutional investors even started in commodities. They are, because of these things, indexation, custody, uh, and so on, uh, aren't there to bring in those bigger people just yet. Yeah, and so to, early. Yeah. To that point, and what, what was interesting was the CFTC commissioner basically saying this week that they wanted to hear comments about whether or not Ether is considered a security or a commodity, because that will, that will do a lot as to whether or not futures could be um, written against Ether. Is there a trade in this, Danny? I mean, do you take a look at what's going on and think, oh, you know, if, yeah. if Ether is the next to have futures mm. associated with it, mm. is there a trade? What, uh, what would, would the say, trade be? I would say that, you know, the trade all along uh, has been to realize that Ether's particular use case is informing capital and doing, you know, being a base for the initial coin offering uh, technology. Now, when you overlay that ICO process with really heavy duty regulation, that's bad for Ethereum. So Ethereum is almost the mirror image of regulation. And uh, in as much as that's, that's lightened, Ethereum will do well. And if it's strengthened, it'll do poorly. So what does that, how, what is so they make some great points. Let's go over some of them. Um, the one thing that they brought up is the rally's not coming. And if you've subscribed to this channel and you've been watching it, I've made it pretty clear that I am not going to see like a real bull run. I mean, the Goldman news was good. So obviously I became a lot more optimistic and I would still buy maybe even uh, a Bitcoin. And I stated I would buy Bitcoin, more Bitcoin if it went under uh, 7,777. Uh, but at the same time, they still don't have the custodianship set up and large institutions that have you know, millions of dollars, maybe even billions of dollars to invest, they're not able to do that. And so until that actually takes place, like I said, there's still regulation, there's still, um, they're waiting for the government to kind of open this up. And like I said, it's just not the US market you wanna pay attention to. This is a global asset. So obviously there's other um, countries like Japan, um, that are trying to do this. Um, so, yeah, so you're not going to see a, a major price action or a major rally until that money can obviously come in and uh, increase the market cap. And the second part with Ethereum, like, like I said, it's like the regulations still, they haven't figured it out whether it's a commodity or uh, if uh, Ethereum needs to be regulated as an equity. 
Um, so it, this is all stuff that it's just going to take time. And uh, that's why uh, I know everyone is holding and they want to buy you know, their Lambos to the moon. Um, but it's, it's a long-term hold. If you're going to be in crypto and you want to invest in crypto, I, I really highly recommend you come in with a mindset that, hey, I have to hold this asset for a year because obviously if you live in the States, you pay less taxes. And even the mindset of maybe two to four years because um, that's where people have really po profited off of holding at least Bitcoin and uh, cryptocurrencies like that. If you if you look at the history, you know, Bitcoin will go flat. Bitcoin could be negative for a little bit. But if you're able, if you're one of the people that held Bitcoin for two to four years, five years, you've always done very, very well. So that should be your mindset. Um, and let me know your thoughts. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon.